What's up YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the second best, one of the best upgrades in Look at Monster Ball. Don't forget to sub, don't forget to just make it a free chroma. So basically, the second or third or first one, it depends on you know what, whether you're playing late game or early game, but Dark Energy is one of the best ones you can have. Summon Dark Energy, so I'm going to get this one here. I'm going to click it and kind of showcase it for you. Now, what's the problem with this one early game is like, look, like it like pings them for three, but I'm not really shooting anything around me. And if you also, to mention my last video, definitely watch those. Uh, when I upgrade this, I the second upgrade, I have to upgrade it here. I automatically have to upgrade. So it's really dangerous because I don't have anything that shoots out. I essentially have to move around and just ping them for five. So it's actually early game. It's a little bit dangerous late game. It's it's um really, really good. So it is the best one to have, but you want to have something shooting around you. So whenever I get to level up, so now now it's like my I'm on level two right now, but you kind of see in the bottom right hand corner. I want to pick something that, that shoots out. So I'm not gonna pick out, you know, uh sticky syrup because that's gonna randomly drop things. I might pick the bouncing slime. I'm gonna click the throwing cards. Okay, so check it out here. And the throwing cards, you can kind of see where they go kind of go right here so this is actually nice so i need something to balance this like i said early game this is great to have but it's it, it's not good just yet so you have to be very careful because you only can um you know basically have to be super close to them to get them i'm going to level up dark energy till it's 10 okay so just be careful because i got to get this to like close to 10 bet best that i can okay because I'm really not shooting too much stuff. I want to pick these bubbles or flying feathers. I'm going to pick bubbles because uh, flying feathers basically circles around me and I already have this circling around me, so I think it should be okay. Again, I'm going to do dark energy as high as I can. So I'm going to keep on going. And now that I have something basically shooting out these cards and these bubbles, I'm pretty good. As you can see now, dark energy is helping me much better now that I have something shooting. I'm going to do dark energy again. So now you can see the circle has increased. It's a little bit better. I can kind of move around and it kills them a little bit. Same thing, I'm gonna increase my dark energy. I'm at six. You can kind of see in the bottom left hand corner uh, that I'm six, one with the card, one with the bubbles. I can just kind of chill here for a second. I'm gonna to upgrade to seven, level seven now. And I pretty much can upgrade this probably to like level 15, let's see. Um, I'm actually going to choose uh, crazy acorns, like I said, because I want something that complements the dark energy and anything shooting out. Ideally, I would want rapid lasers, uh, but I, I didn't get it yet. Now that's level 10, there's going to be a little harder uh, evil things, yeah, evil blooks, ice creatures, bats, all that. Again, I'm on level 8. I'm going to try to get to level 10. Always try to max out your original upgrade first. It's easier. So I'm just gonna kind of make sure they don't swarm me here. I'm kind of move around this way. As you can see, early game was a little bit, you know, a little bit hard, but I picked something that would easily shoot things. I'm gonna get bubbles again. Bubbles is the preferred one if you don't have uh, lasers. Um, later on, bubbles will expand. And now I just gotta wait. It's gonna take me a while to get uh, this dark energy up. So I'm just gonna upgrade everything else that's shooting, like bubbles again. Kind of gonna run around this way. As you can see, it's like pinging them for like, what is this? I don't know, like 20, 15. Now, the maximum amount of firepower that you can uh, release essentially is uh, 35. So, no matter what, it's 35. I'm gonna do peacock feathers. Peacock's feathers is nice uh, because they retract and shoot. You can kind of see it's, it's it, that green thing's flying out there. And this is pretty much dark energy here. It is one of the best defensive upgrades. Uh, that you can get um, it's preferred that you get it later on because you want something that shoots early on um, so it's preferred that you get this defensive upgrade later on so as you can see like it took me to level 16 to get level 9 dark energy so not too bad remember this game only goes to level 60 so it was about almost a you know fourth of the way there essentially I'm gonna go bubbles Remember, when you get dark energy, you want something that complements it. You want something that shoots. You just don't want another defensive upgrade. I'm going to get bubbles again. They're showing you real time that this game, if you're spamming it easy, easy, you can easily get to level 20 without dying. It's like super, super easy as long as you uh, pick the right uh, upgrades. I'm going to get bubbles again. As you can see, dark energy is one of the best ones late game. We're a third of the way of the game is almost over because it only goes to level 60. 
and you can tell I'm pretty much just like cruising with this dark energy. And there's the red slime. Remember, every 5, 10, uh, 15, 20 levels, uh, there's like a little upgrade, like a, a little a harder uh, evil blue will come out or something. The Yeti will come out. I'm actually going to pick peacock feathers because those are really good because they shoot out and retract. And when they retract, they do damage. And as you can see, i got to wait quite a while. And this is on all the upgrades. Um to get the original upgrade, the one that you actually pick. It takes quite a while to get to, uh, to level 10 here. I'm just waiting for it. So that's why it's really important that your second, I shouldn't say your second, but your second best upgrade, just keep upgrading that. So that's that's uh, Booming Bubbles and Peacock Feathers. I'm gonna try to get this to 10 if I can because I'm waiting to get Dark Energy to 10. Okay, so right there, so right there, there we go. Another new enemies are coming out around round 20. So now bubbles are at nine. So this is actually pretty good. As you can see, around round 20, I basically got my uh, main upgrade, my first upgrade, and then my second main upgrade almost to 10. I'm actually going to pick horseshoes because they go around me. Again, this is a defensive upgrade. Um, just kind of remember that. Anything that, that kind of goes around you, I would describe as a defensive upgrade. I mean, there's some expectations. I mean, the parrot does go around you but does shoot. So... We'll see here. We're also going to do the horseshoes again. So as you can tell, if I have dark energy, it's relatively you know easy. Like I can just stay here. Nothing's really going to going to harm me essentially. But I got to be careful because nothing is like shooting out. You can kind of see. I mean, the card is shooting out. The bubbles are shooting out. But I don't have a lot of attacking upgrades. I'm gonna. I mainly have uh, some defensive ones. Um, basically, short range is what I'm talking about. Defensive short range. So you want a variety of short range, long range, and uh, ones that you can actually control. Example, a rapid laser is one you can control the direction that it goes in, uh, which is which is nice. It's one of the only ones you can control. So right there, see the ice crab came out around round 30. So around around like every 5, 10, 15, 20, 20 by 30, they, they uh, get a little more difficult. So as you can see, I, I have a plethora of i have more short range rangey more powerful ones uh, i need a couple better long rangey ones as you can tell you know, I'm, I'm just kind of showing you how long it essentially takes to level it up i'm gonna pick peacock feathers that's a better one because it's a longer range and i can tell that um it actually goes through them i can tell them i need that because I, I have the dark uh dark matter so whatever uh dark energy so just remember whatever original upgrade you pick you need something that complements that defensive and offensive so if i get a defensive one i need more offense and what i mean by defense and offense i mean short range and long range okay you need something if i get a short range i need another long range or if i get a, if i need a long range one i need a short range one so just kind of be mindful to mix and match that's going to be your your best option and then the best best one um, like I said, is having the choice of choosing where to shoot. So right now I'm not controlling anything. So you want to make sure you want to get that rapid laser if you can. Right now it's not giving me, uh, you know, that option. And you're just going to see how long it's going to take me to get the last level of the dark energy. So as you can tell, see, I need, I need some more firepower. I'm just going to move around this way. I'm going to go around. So it take you around. Let's see here. I'm going to go around up at the bottom. And get the horseshoes again. Come around this way. Run around. Uh, I'm gonna do uh, bubbles. So bubbles is actually at ten now. See. So I actually upgraded my second best one uh, before uh, dark energy, because dark energy is still at nine. You can actually see that on the bottom left hand. Um, corner. Hopefully, I swoop all these up real quick. Boop 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 boop. And I'm almost halfway through the game. So it's that easy to get the ha it's that easy to get halfway uh, through the game. Let's see here. I picked up the egg late game. The egg, you know, it's all right. I shouldn't say all right. It's not. It's not all right, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, one more egg. Remember, everything caps out at um, thirty-five. No matter what, like this egg is gonna eventually. I think it's shooting ten right now. Um, ten damage. It'll cap out at thirty-five. That's why the peacock feather is really good because it goes through everybody and it just does like a boatload of damage and then it retracts. Oh, I picked the egg. I apologize. See, dark matter is taking a while to upgrade everybody. You can kind of see uh, how long that's going to take. So my eggs are just firing rapid fire. 
and the eggs fire in the direction where I go. So let's see here, kind of go around. As you can see, level 40, now it's getting more difficult. Bubbles are shooting everywhere. I have a couple long range, short range, defensive and offensive ones. I'm just gonna kind of mow through these people here to try to get the last one here. I'm gonna do a egg since I'm at six already. And the eggs only shoot in the direction that you know I'm going in. So it's basically a weaker version of a laser. Might be a little fast. Might might be you know a little bit faster, essentially. Let's go here. Let's do a horseshoe again. Kind of just gather all these here. See, I'm almost almost all the way through the game, everyone, because it's level 60, and I still have not upgraded my uh, dark energy. Just kind of go here, here, and halfway through. And then level 50, I forget when the Yeti comes out. I think the Yeti's going to come soon. Uh, one more horseshoe. I'm at nine, pretty much. Better start running away here. And, oh, oh no, almost dead. Almost dead, everybody. Got to be careful. And, oh, see. Hold on, there's a troll. All right, there's the big bad troll. And I'll do uh, egg, fight damage per egg. Again, this all caps out at 35. I'm just going to go around this way, collect all these little gemstones here. Yeah, collect them all, little experience points, nothing bad. And peacocks at 8, not bad. I need this food here. I'm going to swoop over and get this food. Another tip is always save the food till later rounds because you're going to need it for later. Uh, I'm going to get the egg. Egg is nice. It'll go through. Uh, egg in the later rounds will go through everything. So you can kind of see the egg right here. See, it's kind of damaging them all. Here we go. But it only um, goes in one direction. Kind of see it going through here, past everything. What's nice about them, you can actually get some of the upgrades will go through things. So like the peacock feather will, the egg will. Uh oh, I'm getting swarmed here. Hold on. Oh no, oh no, I'm getting swarmed, I'm getting swarmed, I might die, no, no, I gotta do my eggs, see my eggs save me, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, whoa, bam, there you go, look at this, look at my eggs, look, bam, 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 yeah, so I need to raise a dark energy here, ah, finally, look, it took me almost round 50 to get this, so pretty much it's gonna take you that long, okay, to basically upgrade it but this is like the peak of the dark energy and uh as you can clearly see you're gonna need rangy attacks for the dark energy kind of swirls around you a lot look this is doing 35 damage i can just basically stay here and i'm i'm almost you know three-fourths of the way done through the game Oop, almost died everyone don't for sub don't fly this just might get a free chrome everybody